What's up, crew? It's Destructo coming at you guys raw. Yeah, it's Constructo too, right? Right, Mamacito? Mm -hmm. Atta girl. Hey, uh, brother George over at GI Customs just about finished up his contest. And uh, we were talking, and, and uh, he's got his, his uh, LM2, uh, which is a, uh, a hybrid Tonto. And uh, we were talking, and I got inspiration from him, bro. Uh, it's actually, a, I think it's a Warncliffe, actually, excuse me, a uh, hybrid Warncliffe. And we were talking, and I got some inspiration. I actually found a piece of steel. As surprising as it as it is, I was looking, and I actually have this piece of 01 because I was looking actually for the uh, 50 to 100 that uh, my friend brother E, also known as Roman Legionnaire, sent me it was as a as a gift. I was like, you know, I, I put that somewhere. Where the heck did I put that? Because I had. Uh, one heavy belt left, or I should say one, um, I think it was a 60 grit belt left. I had one 60 grit belt. And I had uh, this piece of 01. So, being a guy who gets inspired and is uh, borderline obsessive compulsive, I got my hybrid. Warncliffe. Let's see if I can get this thing so it's not blacked out on it. My hybrid Warncliffe. Slight recurve. So it's a bearded Warncliffe. <laughs> a Talon Warncliffe. And uh, this is straight up 100% because of Brother George. And it's going to be my first uh, full flat grind. To wit, I uh, started um, convexing, so it'll be a full flat, uh, a full convex, full height convex, because of Kylie over at CKC Knives. Huge, huge inspiration. Much respect to, to the, the performance he's getting out of those blades of his, and to Gavco. You know, Gavco is the first guy that I seen do a a, a, a full height. Uh, convex and I always I was like geez that looks like it's hard to do and you know what it is it is hard to do where it comes out perfectly symmetrical look at that look at that um, just a hair off uh, off that back corner just a hair I can fix that easy Wow is that even or what now this is where I come into play brother George I did not use a jig and I wanted to I don't know if I can if my macro will catch it Let me get up <laughs> I'm trying, guys. Oh, baby, give me one more. A little more, a little more. Almost. Oh, get in there. There you can kind of see the center line. Maybe over here. Yeah, see my center line, scribe? My scribe center line. That's that's basically that's how I got this done. Watching my center line, keeping it even. What do you think, my friend? Now unlike my standard Tontos. Uh, I really like the way George's had that ergonomic flow or that, that organic flow. 
uh, so I didn't have a sharp abrupt point uh, flat uh, to his LM2 uh, so brother George is a huge inspiration and check this little little thing out man had that shoulder come in to try to uh, I was going to um, if you can imagine my thumb that's kind of, if you draw around my thumb that's how the uh, the woods going to go I might do a canvas micarta or a linen micarta something like that actually for this because um, it's gonna be whatever whatever the owner says technically so but it's gonna go like that so I got that real even on both sides it'll be nice have a nice plunge line I'll polish that up this is going to be the hand sanding and um, I'll have a probably cross the top I don't know I might have this one I might do the uh, engraving on this one the machine engraving and have the L Marshall on there what do you guys think I, I, I'm not, I don't know if the uh, I love it. Uh, obviously, I got to put some holes in, uh, depending on the type of either wood or material I use for my handle. So to determine that, I don't know. Maybe through holes. Maybe I don't know. We'll have to see. Only uh, I'll have to ask uh, Mr. O1 Tool Steel Hybrid Warncliffe <laughs> what it wants to have when it grows up. Hey, for now. Seven minute video. Sorry about taking so long, guys. It's your friend, Constructo, Destructo, Marshall. I don't care what you call me, as long as you still call me your friend. I'm out.